What is up, Angie Boy here, and yes, I am finally back. Work has been extremely demanding for me at September and especially in October. Work weeks of 100 plus hours, getting home past midnight and back at work at 6. It was insane. I had no energy or time to make videos, of course, but now that is over. I did take the last couple of weeks to relax, spend some time with kids, and play some games just for the sake of playing and having fun. And one game in particular got me really hooked, but I'll talk about that a bit later in the vid. But before we start, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to subscribe, like this video, comment below and share. Also, do not forget to look in the pinned comment for a link to my Discord. So yeah, to kick off this video, I'll be talking about my favorite subject of them all, you've guessed it, Dead Matter. As you might know, after an exceedingly long comms blackout with the non-backer world, Nick Z, the lead dev for Dead Matter has finally released something that was much needed, a non-NDA bound dev blog. And that dev blog has two very distinct parts. The first one, which was long overdue, is a letter from Nick Z to the community. Without going into much detail here, the letter is just him letting us know that he does realize the alpha launch was a failure and that he is sorry for the mess of a launch we got. He also goes on to talk about the team wanting to make significant changes to the game to reflect the original vision for the project that was shown in the earlier dev vlogs. What does that mean exactly? Who the hell knows, but I kind of agree with at least the idea. Personally, I have always felt the more the new dev blogs were coming out, the further away they were getting from working on the core concepts. To me, that matter was meant to be a visceral zombie survival set in the Canadian Rockies, where weapons would be realistic for the setting, resources would be scarce and hard to come by, we would be facing massive hordes of zombies, and we would need to find shelter and plan our every moves. But what I was seeing getting mainly implemented were high-end military weapons, not so much low-tier civilian weapons. We were seeing low-priority POIs such as drive-in theaters and go-kart tracks being worked on, while the core building mechanics were not implemented yet, which is one of the key features that attracted me to this game. We were getting little information or updates on the zombies, which in my opinion should have always been a focus of development. We were seeing a lot about gunplay, character customization, inventory management. Do not get me wrong, these are all very important features, but I've always thought of them as things that would be implemented after the core mechanics, and not the other way around. To me there is three core mechanics to then matter, the zombies, claiming and fortifying, and the survival, scavenging, looting aspect. In my mind, once you have fierce zombies, solid and stable building mechanics, and core survival constraints with the means to attenuate them in the world, then you can start adding the surrounding features. Right now we have very solid gunplay, but we lack a decent enemy. We should have a solid enemy and then we get new ways of dealing with them. We have a bunch of POIs and gimmicks, but the means to settle and build bases are still very a work in progress. We should have a stable claiming building system, then we get new places to explore or claim. The world is vast with a lot of places to explore and that is probably the one point I think they bullseyed. We still have access to only a small portion of the map and it feels well developed and proportionate so far. The only thing that is missing in the world in my mind is a bigger diversity of objects to scavenge for survival. That's enough bitching for this video, I just really hope that their claim to refocusing their efforts ends up being a good thing for the development of the game. Time will tell. Also, at the end, Nick Z does talk about a new refund system, especially for those who have been denied one at the end of the backing period on Indiegogo. So if that's something you need information about, have a look in the dev blog on their website. Now let's look at the actual update blog. Also, just to mention, in Nick Z's letter, he does say they plan to post a blog for each update now. I really hope they do, but until he shows us he can keep his word on that, let's just hope we see more update blogs in the future. So Cal has been working on optimization, which includes improvements to the vehicles and multiplayer RAM usage. He is also working on implementing improved zombie AI to increase performance. I really hope this isn't only performance focused, but that the zombies in game behavior will also be improved. Speaking of which, here is a picture of a 
173 zombie strong horde. Now that I cannot wait to see in game. He is also working on new database codes that should move then matter a huge step forward by fixing saving loading issues and allowing players to save critical data on servers such as placed items and vehicles. That is an excessively big fix that needs to happen ASAP. Metamut has been working on the smaller town of Morley to make the area more interesting. He's also been doing a lot of things related to the building mechanics, such as switching to a more stable system, also doing passes over the building materials appearance, and some tweaking has been done to the lighting. Level design exploits have been worked on, and there's been some world detailing going on, so players have more to find when they venture off the beaten path. Some work on future quests has also been done. Dr. Yitz has been hard at work on key PUIs, such as the Dominion Safe Zone and Grotto Bunker. He's also been doing passes for the map, adding river features, improving foliage, and adding details to houses. Nomad has added a couple new weapons that are in my mind much more in line with the OG concept of Den Matter, a medieval sword, and a makeshift crossbow. Hax has been adding new attachments and scopes, he's also been working on the vehicle's interior and exterior lighting, and he has implemented two new weapons, the FN57 and the Ruger MK7 pistol. Erlight has been working on another feature that definitely needs some love right now, the vaulting system. They want it to be very fluid and seamless, I really hope they pull that one off because right now, yikes. And they end that blog update with a shout out to their partners and links to some gameplay they have uploaded. And as of making this video, they've dropped a dev blog for patch 0.5.0 in which they reiterate that they are hard at work at the revamping of the game to be more in line with the original concepts and they specifically talked about the art style. I don't really know what they might mean by that, but we will see soon enough. So yeah, the 0.5.0 dev blog is quite on the light side, but I am very happy to see they are committed to more frequent non-NDA patch notes of sorts. The big points are they've given a pass to the ladders to make them more efficient, they've worked on the inventory and trading systems to fix a few issues, mainly item duplication and things related to traders, and they've worked on some zombie behavior to tone down their responses to gunfire. And that is about it as far as the update goes, I'll definitely be dipping my toe again in Den Matter in the near future, but right now I don't see myself committing to this game at the stage it's in. But I'm confident that the devs will be crossing some very key development milestones fairly soon if they truly are committed to all that refocusing speech. Now like I said there is a game that has absolutely grabbed my attention the last few days and that game is Scum. I have been recording a ton of footage, I'll be starting the editing right after I drop this vid, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it, I'll be trying to mix more gameplay videos with my informative videos, and like I said guys, I did take the last couple of weeks to just relax and enjoy myself, I'm telling you, work had been that demanding in quite some time, but now it's pretty much back to normal, I'll be getting back on the discord right this week, and I'm looking forward to getting back in touch with you guys, and maybe get some of you guys on Scub or other games, who knows? And that's going to be it for today. And if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, I would really appreciate it if you took the time to subscribe, like this video, comment below and share. And do not forget to look in the pinned comment and description for a link to my Discord. Again, thanks for watching and a very big thank you to all of you who are subscribed. It really means a lot and I will see you in the next one.